Welcome to the How To Studio. In this video, I'll show you how to quickly and easily add table of contents in Google Doc. Let's jump right into it. The first thing I want to do is I want to add a blank page at the top of my document so I can add my table of contents there. So to do that, I'm just going to go ahead and click on insert and click on break and then page break. And that will add a new page to me for me at the top of my document. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to add the text table of content. Okay. And then I'm going to just um, click and press enter to create a new line. And then I'm just going to go ahead and click on insert, scroll down to the bottom to where it says table of content. And then I'm going to include my table of content here. And it's just going to auto populate and generate my table of content for me. So as you can see, it has generated my table of content. If, it, if it's showing up blank for you or it has not generated for you, that's because you haven't had added your heading titles. So right here, you can see that I have different heading titles and then I have my normal text below. So if you click on, if, if, if I click on the different headings, you can see it say heading two, heading three, and so forth. So what you want to do is that you want to make sure that your document has heading assigned so that when you generate your table of content, it will populate for you. So let's do an example. So let's say you have some normal text and let's say this is a sample heading. and then you have some copy. Let's say you want this to be um, on your table of content, then you have to highlight it and then you have to select whether it's heading one, heading two, and so forth. So the different heading, it has different sizes. So depending on the size and depending on the importance of this heading, then you're gonna select whether it's heading one, heading two, and so forth. So I'm gonna make this one heading one. And then if I scroll up back to my table of content, is going to be generated on my table of content to generate that all i have to do is refresh my table of content and you'll see populate there so as you can see it is right here um if you want to change the style of your table of content just click on more options and then you can go ahead and update the style of your table of content so i'm choosing this one with the dots and if we go to our table of contents here, you're seeing that the table of content is added to it. And that's because this is H1, so it is um, having it in here as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this to normal text, or I could just try, let's try title. Title does the same. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, so I changed this one to title and then it removed it from the table of content. So you can update your table of content, um, just check in to make sure all the headings are there and you can remove anything that shouldn't be removed and you can easily change the style of your table of content. Okay, and if you would like to know how to add table of content to Microsoft Word, I do have a video on that. Please see the video in the description below or you should see a video popping up on the right hand of your screen. Please click on that to see how to add table of content in Microsoft Word as well. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer them. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.